Here is what a close-up of the incentives barometer looks like. We have the mouthpiece right here, and then we have the chamber that lets us adjust the volume for what we want the patient to be able to inhale. And then over here we have the gauge. We always want to make sure we keep that gauge between the two arrows. It might be looking a little bit different for the spirometer that you have. It also comes with a chart that has normal values for patients, male and female, according to their age and their height, which is the expected lung volume. Just keep in mind that patients, because of hospitalization and any kind of chronic underlying conditions, might have different lung volumes than what you actually see on the chart. So make sure that you don't put a whole lot of pressure on your patient, but just try to have them um, instruct them properly and have them do their best the very first time that they use the device. And then from there, they can always aim to increase that inspiratory effort, again, to make sure to prevent and or treat atelectasis and pneumonia.